TCU at the three spot in the college football playoff rankings last week. This week on the outside looking in as the Horned Frogs found themselves at number six, just missing the cutoff for that final four. TCU head football coach Gary Patterson joins me now. And coach, first of all, what was your reaction to the news that your squad would not be a part of the college football playoff? Well, I didn't even watch it. I, I told him to go tell me because I was, I was worried about uh, – how the games went and uh, obviously we're disappointed obviously we feel like we can play with four teams that are in it but uh you know you had to trust the committee to do what it did and uh, if we wanted to control our own destiny we needed to be undefeated what was the message to your team after the news well my message in a team meeting was you know it's we're all disappointed but uh you know we've we still got a lot ahead of us you know we got a very young football team uh, we only lose two or three guys off our offense and uh four or five guys off our defense with all the rest of the team coming back. And so uh, my message was, is we're co-champions in the Big 12. Uh, to do that in three years is phenomenal. We just need to move forward and be a springboard for next year and and use use this next ball game to be uh, uh, a game where we can possibly end up 12-1 and one and, and show the rest of the nation that we deserve an opportunity to be in those Final Four, having Ole Miss be a team that beat Alabama. So uh, uh, we're getting ready to go. Coach, as you mentioned, both your squad and Baylor finish the season co-Big 12 champions. Some think that could have negatively affected both teams. Do you believe the Big 12 should petition to have a championship game now? You know, uh, I'm going to leave that to somebody else, but I've always been a person that believed uh, that you got to give a little time and see what all the problems. Was this just a one-year deal, or is this something that um, that will be played out uh, that we need to, we need to go fix because it's a problem? Uh, but I'm sure that they're going to look into it but uh, if it was me, I would, I'd give it one more year to see how it, this works and if it's still a problem for the Big 12 because our, our goal is to take care of our, our players and, and our fans and our universities to give them an opportunity to play at the highest level. And, uh, and if, if we have to change, then I'm sure as a, as, a, uh, as a conference, we'll go do that. But at, at this point in time, you know, my, my suggestion, if they were asking me and they're not, uh, <laughs> would be to uh, let it play it out, play out one more year and, and see what comes of it. Ole Miss on New Year's Eve, next game on your schedule, Coach. What's your initial reaction to the matchup? Well, obviously, uh, very good on defense. Uh, you know, he lost a really good player in Treadwell for the season, but obviously, offensively, they can do things too. Uh, got our hands full, but uh, this is the kind of game that we want to play. I think our kids are excited about it. Get a chance from going from a four and eight football team a year ago uh, to playing in one of the big six bowl games on New Year's Eve or New Year's. Uh, is a quite a jump and it's 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 a success story so uh for us uh we're happy where we're at uh we'd like to be doing better but uh this is this is quite an opportunity for us so we're going to try not to waste it of course well finally lots of hype and build up surrounding the college football playoff announcement how do you refocus your players and your team for this peach bowl now well i don't think it's going to be anything at all i think this is like going this is uh, a new year's bowl for us it's like playing in Wisconsin in the Rose Bowl. This is uh, playing a team that it's ranked in the top 10 uh, in the country also. And uh, it gives us an opportunity to understand that we can play, play at a high level and we can play well. It gives us confidence going into the spring and then the fall season. TCU has never appeared in a Peach Bowl. Ole Miss has appeared in just one. Should be a good matchup. Coach Patterson, thanks so much for the time. Not a problem at all. Happy holidays. Thanks, you too. And for more surrounding the college football playoff and all the major bowl games, be sure to keep it locked right here on CampusInsiders.com.